Hello, I'm Anna Kasatkina here with the weekly stocks market review. The US stock market was going up during the last two sessions which contributed to significant weekly growth as the investors were expecting new actions from the ECB and the FRS. Shares quotes reached the intraday highs after the news that the ECB President Mario Draghi and Bundesbank President Jens Widman intend to overcome the challenges preventing implementation of the new measures, including repurchase of stocks. The Dow Jones Industrial Average ended the week with 1.5% growth, up to the level of 13,075.66. The index couldn't get over 13,000 since May the 7th. The announcements made by the German Chancellor Angela Merkel and President of France François Hollande about their strong intention to save the Eurozone unity promoted favorable beginning of the Friday session. On Thursday, the Dow Jones index raised more than 200 points amid Mario Draghi's appeal to enter the debt market and amid the information that the ECB will do anything to save the euro. S&P 500 added 1.9 percent and reached the level of 1,000. 1,385.97. Medical care and technology sector were both marked with the most significant growth amid all the sectors, which also closed in green zone. The index grew 1.7% during the week. Nasdaq gathered 2.2% up to the level of 2,958.09. Consumer Confidence Index, being above the expectations together with the report on the U.S. economic growth in the second quarter, helped to maintain positive mood within the market. Among the Dow components, Merck and Company shares gained 4.1 percent after the pharmaceutical company reported its income, which exceeded the forecast. During the second quarter, the profit grew up to $1.05 dollars per share from 95 cents. The sales accumulated 1.3 percent up to $12.31 billion. Analysts expected it to reach $1.01 dollars per share with an annual profit of $12.15 billion. Apart from this, Facebook papers lost about 12 percent amid the quarter report and the following conference call from the analysts. The drop hit the new low. It dipped to the level of below $24. Facebook entered the market in mid-May with an initial public offering of $38 per share. During the second quarter, the annual revenue went up 32 percent to $1.18 billion. Meanwhile, the advertising business of the company is developing at a slower pace. You are watching Weekly Stocks Market Review. Thank you and goodbye.